It's a rocket ship is an understatement. We're up another 200-plus points yesterday. Scott Crothers, you are really bringing it this 2008. What happened yesterday? Yes, uh, McGraw. Yesterday, the Dow jumped 205 points and closed at 25,575, led by Boeing, GE, and Apple. Uh, earnings season is also a good start, but we are seeing strong economic reports. Plus, investors are confident going forward. All this leads to a good market. The yield on the 10 year U.S. Treasury fell to 2.531% yesterday. So, everything's going great. I mean, Boeing's been up big the last couple of days, hasn't it? it? It really has. And you might have seen Boeing built a giant drone that can carry 500 pounds of cargo, and it was built in three months right here in St. Charles. In the summer of 2016, Boeing quietly opened the new facility, and we are now seeing the results. The new drone has a lot of possible uses, and it's the first step in an entire platform of future aircraft. Yeah, Boeing trading at 328 some odd dollars for one share. So good job on Boeing. Uh, where are we on inflation, Scott Crothers? Well, we got a look at inflation at the wholesale level yesterday morning, and it showed the first drop since August of 2016. PPI, or the producer price index, fell by 0.1% in December, and we were expecting a 0.2% uh, gain. Year-over-year uh, -year prices rose 2.6%, the sixth consecutive month over 2%. One of the Fed's main tasks is controlling inflation, and with such low inflation, they may have a hard time raising rates like they planned. Hmm. That's weird that inflation would go down with the things going so crazy. I know. It's kind of crazy that there's not that much inflation out there right now. Hey, great news. And uh, finally, what about BlackRock? Uh, BlackRock, the world's largest asset manager, reported better than expected numbers this morning. Uh, revenue came in at $3.469 billion, and they made a profit of six point. Uh, well, $6.24 a share. Uh, BlackRock now manages $6.288 trillion, up 22% from last year, led by their shares, uh, I shares in the ETF business. They increased their dividend by 15%. All right, Scott Crothers, the uh, rocket ship continue today. What's the story about the markets today? Well, the futures look up 100 points uh, this morning on strong earnings from some of the financial companies. Uh, we get a look at the inflation at the consumer level with the CPI. Uh, markets will be closed on Monday. We'll be back at it on Tuesday. So it should be a good day today. Scott Crothers with Stephen Nicholas. Thanks for the heads up. Have a good uh, weekend. We'll talk to you on Tuesday. Thanks.